Thank you. Thank you very much for all of you special for the, the organizer to make this event possible. So first we will do a refuge and buddhijita together. Oh, <laughs> Dagi jin so ji be so nam ji do lai ben ji san ji ndru ba rai shu no difference and this nature is pure 
this nature is free and this nature is beyond concept and it has the or the enlightened qualities awareness love and compassion and wisdom so there's the our ultimate uh, true nature so that one is the ultimate source of refuge and this our true nature will helps you to be free from all the sufferings fears um, the cycle of samsara and to help us really achieve the uh, freedom enlightenment so once we know about this relative and absol absolute refuge and then we know the our direction then to get to the our direction sometimes there's a obstacles like detour or wrong path so to prevent that detour bodhicitta the loving kindness compassion and bodhicitta so second is bodhicitta refuge and bodhicitta so bodhicitta means from now on whatever i practice the med the, the meditation sadhana generosity discipline patience uh, samadhi effort uh, wisdom whatever i do offering is to benefit for all beings help all beings to fully recognize their true nature and i don't have this capacity now i cannot help all beings now forget about whole beings all beings i cannot help myself now right so therefore if i don't have that capacity now therefore i'm going to practice and then in the future eventually i can able to help all beings to fully recognize their true nature whatever your practice is for that purpose the ultimate the real the for lasting purpose is the to help all beings fully recognize their true nature so that's called bodhicitta so once you have this true we have the direction we have the protection of detour or wrong path so then whatever practice what we do is to become meaningful virtue um, save so this is really important so we did refuge in bodhicitta and after that uh, we did the for immeasurable is a kind of a part of the bodhicitta also and then the traditional in buddhism like when buddha achieved enlightenment then what buddha thought first what Buddha thought is this profound Dharma is so profound beyond concept, beyond word, peaceful, um, non-conceptual, so profound. If I teach to other people, no one will understand. So Buddha keeps silent for a few weeks. Then there's a Brahma, Brahma Indra and they came and asked Buddha to teach Dharma and Buddha accepted. So as first they offer mandala to Buddha, then they asked the Buddha to teach. So offering mandala and the teaching request to teach Dharma. So that's the tradition that comes from there. Okay, so now I will start the today's main teaching. So I see there are many Dharma centers here. Uh, Balbong. Ireland, Balbong, Wales, Balbong, Slovenia. I uh, ha have nice background. <laughs> uh, so all the Balbong, Italy also translator, Europe, Balbong, Europe. So so many uh, different Dharma centers. All the Balbong, different part of the um, Dharma centers are here. Um, so today title is. Um, the art of letting go and how to have healthy relationship. Um, so the first table, I think now now we have the pandemic, and in a way that um, mm, difficult to physically connect with all of you. But I heard of that you all receive online teachings from Guru Bajadara uh, by So there's a more often connection. Though normally Rumbachi 
doesn't travel much and he most of the time he do in retreat but now Rinpoche is more available with the teaching so all of you are really uh, fortunate so although pandemic one way is a lot of uh, suffering around the world many people having a lot of problem but in a way, another way there's a lot of opportunities to receive these teachings and the Rinpoche's teaching are really, really precious and it is a hearing liberation the real lineage of the Mahamuda Mahamuda lineage holder kind of like when we call unbroken Mahamuda lineage not the lineage of word not the lineage of just uh, intellectual or lineage of some kind of like just uh, uh, roles and um, uh, titles but what we call the lineage of the realization so unbroken lineage of realization of Mahamuda so come to uh, Rinpoche so I think this is really important to receive these wonderful teachings the teachings are the hearing liberation and then put it into the practice hearing liberation meaning just you hear already start to have the connection of the liberation um, so today the my talk title is about the uh, art of letting go so letting go is I think really important this uh, teaching this is very important in practice for the Dharma and uh, very important practice for the everyday life and very important practice for the, of course for the relationship healthy relationship and although also your everyday life job business so whatever we do in our life if we can find the if we know the secret of letting go I think it's really beneficial and uh, ben beneficial for our life beneficial for people around us so this is really important so what is the meaning of letting go the meaning of letting go is accepting the way things are so you you are accepting you are allowing you are not ignoring the way things are you are not controlling particular way things are you are not suppressing the way things are but you observe you to be aware of that and at the same time continued forward so normally what we call letting go is not the giving up so this is a really um, similar isn't it normally normally people here let go meaning like give up but in Buddhism letting go is not giving up you don't need to give up so actually what makes you give up is if you not let go if you don't know how to let go then two choice give up or tight we are really tight and when you're too tight what happened then we make a mountain out of molehill so molehill is the like um, small I think animal right go under the earth and then earth become like a little bit like mushroom small mushroom like this mole is some kind of animal some people say ant and then when you look at look like mountain but actually very small so too tight so our mind become very sensitive and special with the relationship doesn't matter relationship between your family members your uh, neighbors your colleagues at your uh, workplace 
or friends relationship between you and your friends relationship between you and your teacher or you and your student so all this become not so healthy too tight like in the within the family members then if your if your mind too tight easy to broke the one that you don't want actually you are forcing to make that happen if the relation is too tight if your mind is too tight so normally you know some family members they came to me and they saying that uh they want to find a perfect uh partner uh mr perfect and mrs perfect and then they have lot of re- kind of requirements lot of lists he or she understand me have to be there for me and the support for me and then you know something spiritually many many people they ask me oh please bless me to have same lineage so many lists you know same you know want to practice and then many 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 so on so on so in real life it's impossible there's no such normally what i say there's no such as mr perfect and mrs perfect maybe we we can have mr okay and mrs okay so if you accept mr okay and mrs okay then maybe it will become mr perfect and mrs perfect <laughs> but if you look for mr perfect and mrs perfect even the mr okay and mrs okay in the end it will make you make yourself not okay so therefore this is the you know some some people um they they ask me to bless to pray i say yes as i will pray but i told them you know you will not find mr perfect and mrs perfect they say well i'm waiting for that i have some sense you know this is the uh, entire my life mission and meaning of my life and sometimes they come back and they say oh now i found it i said oh oh in my mind you know oh oh if someone says i found the mr perfect and mrs perfect you know big oh <laughs> although i said oh yeah yeah it's wonderful but you know don't be too tight and accept let it go learn how to let go they say oh we, we are fine we are fine but then after two years later they come back and with a cry you know one of them they said i thought is mr perfect and mrs perfect i mean the mr perfect mrs perfect i just added you know sometimes they said you know perfect partner or soulmate or whatever and they cry and they say it turned out to be joke you know so there's a um big disappointment so maybe i will um i will give this um um example in the in the past sometimes i give this example many times so let's say if you know if somebody loves uh, a car maybe you really want to have very nice car so what car is better nowadays uh environmental friendly car uh tesla tesla is popular or no yeah i can somebody can can raise hand here no how many of you like tesla raise your hand <laughs> or someone knows how to raise hand is on the 37 40 45 40 51 
Good. Okay, above 61. So many people like uh, Tesla. Okay, so I will use example with the Tesla. So, you know, sometimes these examples, if we make it for the different people, sometimes sensitive. So, a uh, car is okay. <laughs> so, if you like Tesla, you know, you are thinking, you know, saving money and walking, walk, walk, working very hard and save money and to kind of like uh, the dream, your dream is to get Tesla. But then sometimes Tesla is quite expensive and then maybe, especially nowadays we are having pandemic, so not so easy. And you decided, or oh, maybe I will buy second-hand Tesla. You are just thinking about that, you know. The, the you know, the brand new Tesla is, is not so, um, affordable for me. And while you're thinking like that, and you go in town, you know, in the town, so now, Many towns now cars allowed to move, right? You just t t taking some exercise, and whenever you see Tesla, you cannot help look at the Tesla. And you're just walking on the street, and suddenly, if you see Tesla, oh, Tesla, oh, you know. So then, one day, you are walking on the street, and there's one Tesla came. Tesla, wow. While you're looking at that Tesla, there's a truck came and a crash. The Tesla was crushed. Bro. Lucky nobody hurt, but the car was smashed. And you might think, oh sorry, you know. But then you are sometimes you might, you know, kind of like enjoy to see, oh Tesla, take photo. And then put it on the Facebook or the what called Instagram, whatever you know. Today I have witnessed this Tesla, bro. Like that. So then, after a few weeks later, you are thinking, oh, I really want to get the second-hand Tesla. So then, what happened is that Tesla was crashed with the truck, you know. So they bring into the car repair center and got insurance and totally repair. And then owner thought, okay, I will sell this car. So then that car is in the second hand shop. So then you go into the second, second, ha second hand car shop and you saw that same Tesla, but you don't know that was same Tesla. You know, three weeks before, that Tesla have had accident with a truck, but you didn't know that the same Tesla. So then you decided, accidentally, you decide to buy that Tesla. So around maybe, let's say 3 p.m., you sign, pay whatever money, and now Tesla is belong to you. So now you, you and Tesla, Tesla become one. <laughs> The Tesla become part of you, my Tesla. It's almost become one part of your body. And then a lot of expectations about the Tesla. You, you have a lot of lists about the Tesla. And, and then if your mind too tight on the Tesla, you know, normally what I call permanent, singularity, independent way of thinking about the Tesla. What happened? Then your mind become very sensitive. Something slightly happened to Tesla, you will feel like a knife cutting through your heart. And uh, so, then you you got the Tesla and you are driving Tesla. At the beginning, look like so happy. Ooh, the my dream car! Finally, I can drive. And then the road was not so nice. Maybe you are 
living a little bit in the countryside and you are driving through the bumpy road so then each time when you're passing through the bumpy road mm, each bump your heart is bumping together and goosebump you know all the hairs go up and you become whew, you know and then you can drive and maybe the, there's rubbles, you know, small stones. And you drive and bumpy road and suddenly you stop. And the wheel, you know, sp spear of wheel, uh, push one small stone into the space and fall down, hit to the, your windshield. Like that, you know, the stone hit your windshield. In that moment, what happened? you will feel like very sharp knife cutting through your heart. You will feel like end of the world. So, actually, you saw that car having accident three weeks before with the truck. And that time, you will not have that feeling. Forget about knife cutting through your heart. Of course, you feel sorry about the symptom. Ooh, accident. Good thing nobody hurt. But, mm -hmm. And you take photos, put the Instagram and Facebook. It's okay. But then today, around 3 p.m., car is my car. The grasping. The craving, attachment, become very strong with the car. Then, slightly whatever happened with the car, you are suffer a lot. Very painful, sensitive, suffering after suffering. So then, if you continued with that car, if your mind is too tight, after a few weeks later, you might think, hmm, actually this car is not the same as what I expected. You know, uh, the features in this car not as perfect as what I expected. The color is not so good, and now shape is not so good, or this function is not so good. So you will see a lot of problems because your mind is too tight. You have a lot of less, too much expectation. So now you will not see the positive size of the car. What you will see? That is not good, that is not good. Here is not, it's not as what I expected. A lot of complaints now, complaints begin. So then maybe you will sell this car or you will try to get really brand new Tesla or maybe you are thinking some other car is better and then you will really life become suffering to work very very hard and then to earn money save money to have more and more more and more more and more uh, endless and that is it doesn't work if you get the whatever and you will not will be peace not satisfied there's no feeling of complete. There's a, you will not get feeling of satisfying, always feeling of, always feeling of dissatisfaction. Feeling of, oh, this is not the, what I ex expected. Something more, something missing, something incorrect. Something has to be perfect. Something has to be right way. This is not the way. This is not, not the, what I expected. So then entire life become problem. So that's the too tight. So same with the relationship. Same with the teacher. So many lists of teacher. And then when we have teacher, the relation is too tight, may not be benefit. Same with the student. Same with friends. He or she, my best friend. And too tight? Then there's no room for 
forgiveness because a lot of lists, a lot of expectation is impossible to match or feel full all these lists. So then what are you experiencing is disappointment, always disappointment and something feeling of that not satisfying and job work also same that you're too tight like some people you know oh this work is not good what i am not this is not i expected this company is not really good i will look for a new job so when you find new job at the beginning you might think mm, this is very good the boss is good colleagues are nice what are my jobs good ah i came to the, my dream job but then after a few weeks few months later the samsara will follow you <laughs> if you don't know how to let go and you will think oh this boss is not good you know i have problem with my boss this colleague is not good, you know, he or she always, uh, I just look at that person, you know, I feel something, uh, you know, uh, I hate him or her. And then you make same circle. You, you will build the same samsara in that new company. And then you might thought, oh, this company is not good. I have to leave this company. So maybe you will look for another company, maybe do a lot of research and then very difficult to get new job. Finally, you found, you thought, oh, finally I found this new company, that my dream company. Again, the beginning it look like nice, but then in the end, same problem. The samsara come there in that new company. And then you thought, huh, why this bad company follow me everywhere? So, Wherever I go, I have bad luck. Always met, met these bad companies. So maybe yeah, I, I have to go in the monastery, in the, in the Dharma center, or in the yoga, or in the high in the mountain. So where there's no this uh, samsaric problem. Maybe you go into the monastery or nunnery or in the mountain or in the uh, uh, meditation center at the beginning you feel really nice this is completely different and you look around and everybody look like smile you know so, ah this is I think they all are enlightened mm -hmm. but then <laughs> after three weeks later or three weeks later samsara will follow there also and we, we will make same thing after certain level. Oh, that teacher is not good. That colleague is not good. That the same problem. Now, yes, in these companies, they have problem, of course. These bad companies. Why? These spiritual, spiritual, spiritual groups have this problem. Sometimes you might think the spiritual group is even worse because we have the big expectation for the spiritual group, you know maybe more expectation than company so you feel like oh big problem here it's fake fake smile not good you know not authentic or you know so many things there so the traditional in the uh, what we call uh, the way of Bodhisattva. So the way of Bodhisattva says, uh, if you want to solve the problem out there, if you want to change out there, if you want to free all the enemies out there, become endless. You will have more problems. You will have more enemies. You will have more obstacles but if you try to work within yourself transform try to transform yourself then 
the outside obstacles become opportunity, problem become solution, mistake become opportunity to grow and learn. So in the end, there's no such thing as ultimate obstacle. Actually, everything can be friend, everything become opportunity, everything become support to the path. So the really important is our mind. So don't give up. <laughs> of course, we want to learn how to let go. Letting go is really important. I will tell you more about how to let go. So, otherwise, the the example in the, the way of Buddha is the ancient example. So the ancient example, like in the like four thousand five five thousand years before, people live very simple life. So there's the there's one example that normally they walk with the bare feet into the mountain, but then there's a lot of stones, thorn, you know, thorn, and the piece of woods is not good for the feet. So, and they don't know how to make shoes because the concept of shoes hasn't developed yet. And this example is in the, in the ancient time. So then, some people they thought, oh, they will uh, cover the path with the leather, and they try to cover path with the leather, you know, make it nice path, and they can walk on the uh, leather, so it's good for the feet, smooth. But then leather run out within a few meters. 100 or some meters, no more leather. But then you have to walk even further, you know, sometime few kilometers. You have to look after animals. Some people, they go into nature, some people, they hunt, and they are farmers. So still there's pebbles, thorns, piece of wood everywhere. And then that person was very tired. Uh, that person thought, what should I do? Maybe I will ask this question to participants in the, in the chat box. So what is the best solution for that person? You know, the leather is run out. You cannot uh, repair, I mean, you cannot make all the paths in the mountain. So what is the best solution? So you can type your answer here in the chat box, in the chat. Isn't it? Wearing shoes? No, no shoes? Concept of shoes hasn't developed yet? Cover your feet. Cover your feet by what? Chinese. Put the ah. Uh, cover feet with the leather. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that is the right answer. Cover your feet by leather. You have leather, right? And if you cover your both feet by leather, then wherever feet goes, leather goes. So the pebbles cannot come to your feet directly because the leather will protect your feet. So it's almost like you're covering entire path with the leather, same benefit, just covering your both feet. If you want to cover entire path by leather, impossible, 
even you did that may not be nice, no? But if you cover just your feet, nice and easy. So if we transform inside, if we, you know, really work with ourselves, then outside problem, it doesn't matter much. In the end, everything become, as I mentioned before, path of freedom, friend. Problem become solution. Obstacle become opportunity. So, therefore, letting go, but don't give up. Yeah, this is really important. So now, how to let go? This is an important, important question, isn't it? <laughs> so, up to now, what I tell you is, letting go is very important. But how to let go? So I, I told you before the meaning of letting go, right? So maybe you can write down here. How many of you remember the meaning of letting go? So if you remember, you can write down here. Accept things as they are. Accept. Accepting. Discover. Don't attachment. Decrease. Decrease pain. Not bad. Too tight. Not grasping. Yeah. So accept the things, accept the way things are. So that's the meaning of letting go. So what is the, the way things are? So way things are meaning the nature of reality, the truth. So way things are has two levels. One is the relative level. One is the absolute level. So the relative level is what we call multiplicity, meaning many different pieces. And then interdependent, meaning all these pieces connect each other. And then impermanent, meaning time. It's changing, changing, growing, changing, changing. So that's the, the true relative level. There's a fake relative, what we call permanent, single, independent. So normally what we are uh, seeing is permanent, single, independent. So that's the tight, too tight, grasp it not letting go so you you are you you don't see impermanent what you see is permanent holding if you hold the permanent the reality is changing 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 impermanent right so then what happened soon will expire soon will I mean, soon will die, actually. Die meaning, for example, and this is with the relationship also. If you're too tight about the, what the relationship is, what that should be, there's a lot of shoot, there's a lot of this the way, this the ought to do, this is the, the right, you know, a lot of right, a lot of this is the way, many, many, this is the away, this is the shoot. So, so many of this, like preconcept, 
and you hold on that tight, what happened? The relationship become unhealthy. Relationship become not last long. Relation will die soon. But if you accept, it's impermanent, right? Life is like what we call wave of the ocean, up and down, up and down. Everything is up and down. Person also up, people is up and down. Relationship is up and down. The your meditation experience is up and down at the beginning. Stock market is up and down. So life is like stock market. The world is up and down. So now is the down moment of the world. And it will not be like this forever. It will rise again. Maybe the world will become very nice after some time. But then it will not stay like that for, for forever. It will become down. So in our lifetimes, entire world, sometimes big global financial crisis, we experience many, many times. But then a few years later, it go over, back to normal. Sometimes there's a lot of new things, good things hap happening. So everything's changed. So this is really important to see that. And to learn. So normally what we do is we predict. We pr predict each other. Then we control. And that may not be the right one. And what we have to do is we have to accept. We have to see things are. We need to sense. We need to learn. And then we have to react. We have to respond as things, as the things is changing. We have to respond accordingly. We have to work with accordingly. So in the companies, you know, if company doesn't do innovation, then company will die soon. So the company, and they know how to do innovation smartly, then company live longer, actually, isn't it? We can see in the past, those companies, they think they know everything, and they think there is the way and this is the shoot. They collapse. So, and that is, not only with the company, in the family, inside the family, in between friends. So learn and also learn each other. And, and accept the changes up and down. So sometimes you have to let go. Sometime maybe you might need to help. Not always, may I help you? What can I help you? Can I help you? It doesn't work. I will not help. Ignore. Also not help. Have to be balanced. And of course, relation need to start and also let go. So all the meditation, relationship between you and your practice also set, right? I think many of you practice meditation. So what is meditation? Up and down. <laughs> so when your meditation experience up, what you will feel? Oh, peace, calm, joy, clarity, non-conceptual. Ha ha. You know, I think I achieved direct realization today. From now on, I will have no problem with this monkey mind, this pala 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 yada yada. Today, <laughs> I achieve something, wonderful realization, something. So from today on, I'm kind of like free from, I, I may, maybe not fully, but some, you know, part of free from samsara. 
and like this will be forever. Mm. So then what happened? After a few hours later, sometimes few minutes, sometimes few, 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 few days later, boom. Now you have down experience. Disappointment, anger, pain, a lot of blah, 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 a lot of thought, doubt. And then no flavor also. That's what we call agitation. And then you might think, what happened? Hmm. Yesterday, I achieved high level of realization. But the today, something happened. I fell down. I fell back. Uh, maybe did I do something wrong? Proxamaya? Or eat something wrong, maybe? <laughs> or not in a bodhicitta? <laughs> Not in a refuge in Guru Yoga, or maybe Feng <laughs> some, some some uh, Feng Shui, you know, Feng Shui meaning kind of like the, en the the landscape energy, especially in Chinese tradition, believe Feng Shui. So maybe the Feng Shui, or maybe the uh, some energy is not right. But actually, not because of you did something wrong. Of course, there's some bad karma or whatever there, but it's not necessarily you did something wrong. Or brak samaya, or not like you come down, or feng shui, or eat something wrong. It's the natural rhythm. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And what we call up meditation experience up is good. Why? Up experience help us to inspire. The up experience help us um, kind of like give us hope, feeling happy. But the, the one who really help us for our path is the down experience. When our meditation experience down, the dullness, agitation, that really help us to grow, to learn, to go out of our comfort zone, go out of cocoon, you know, cocoon, comfort zone. So actually, the one really help us is the down. Sometimes what we call, the one who really help us is, is if you let go, meaning, you accept the up and down and don't give up, the obstacle become opportunity. Obstacle become the problem become solution, right? So sometime um, like my father, you know, he taught me that if you are going somewhere and you you reach dead end, there's a huge wall in front of you. You cannot go. The road is finished. End. Then what do you have to do? The first, you take out your backpack and throw your backpack the other side of wall. So once your backpack is other side of wall, now you are, what do you have to do? You have to cross. <laughs> So then, you cannot cross that way, that's the dead end, but that is not the only way. There's a which and ways you can cross the wall. There's many possibilities. So impermanent, if we accept impermanent, we see different possibilities. We can see different doors, but if you don't Accept impermanent, then our mind becomes black and black and white, just single. Singularity, permanent, that's the only possibility. And you fix with that, we don't see other opportunity. We don't see other new doors. We don't see other different possibilities. So therefore, actually. We all have great 
capacity. We all have skills. We all have wisdom. We all have a lot of great qualities within us, awareness, love and compassion. So we have this wonderful nature within all of us. Remember before I told you that the ultimate source of refuge. The ultimate source of refuge is our true nature. And our true nature is totally perfect. It has all the enlightened qualities. Although right now we are not recognized, not recognized our true nature is ignorant. And from that, based on ignorance, we have a lot of illusion, delusion, illusion, delusion, perception of the samsara. So we have a lot of suffering. We all have baggage. Everybody has some kind of problem, isn't it? So how many of your problem? Raise your hand. Okay. So if you have a problem, raise your hand. Uh, 59, 69 people have problems. 70 people have problems. <laughs> Yeah, everybody has problem. Okay. Problems are international. Problem is universal. But whether the problem become problem or whether problem become solution, it's up to you. So, if we take it problem as learning process to grow, so let it go, but don't give up, then the problem becomes solution, obstacle becomes opportunity. So, in the meditation path, what we call self-antidote, self-liberation, um, meaning transforming problem, suffering as path, transforming suffering, emotion as uh, Enhance your awareness, love and compassion and wisdom. So in the end, what we call poison transform into wisdom. Sorry, poison transform into medicine. Clashes transform into wisdom. So that is what we call self-antidote. So the problem becomes solution. We don't need to bring some other, some other antidote, some other solution for that. So self antidote is the best antidote. Okay. So now, um, let go. The main topic is let go and. Letting go meaning accept the way things are, but don't give up. So how to let go? So I'm telling about how to let go with the, the true relative level. So fake relative level, we are holding on the permanent, singularity, independent, right? So that is the too tight. So we have to, when we accept, the life is like wave of the ocean, up and down, up and down. Up is good, of course, but the down is even better. <laughs> so then you are accepting life is up and down, 
that mean that meaning you you, you are learning how to let go what you are letting go is the permanent one automatically will let go but if you're thinking i need to let go <sighs> tomorrow i will from now and i will let go every everything from tomorrow i will start new life it doesn't work let go let go let go may become the grasping so what is the real meaning of let go knowing things knowing the way things are accepting the way things are and then it works so nowadays many people think about the don't attach you know detachment or don't attach then what people think i cannot have attachment no attachment no attachment please so when we say no attachment no attachment sometimes it doesn't work very well and no attachment the real meaning of not attachment also not understand the real meaning of not attachment almost like you have to destroy that one you know like a cup so if if you say don't attach to the cup should we that means we have to break the cup <laughs> so don't attach to the cup doesn't mean you have to break the cup bring the hammer smash the cup even you do that you might have still attachment about the cup right so the real meaning of not attachment is accepting cup is impermanent comes okay goes okay both is okay and then in the ultimate level cup is emptiness right then automatically you will free from attachment through the wisdom and that is same with your meditation so sometime people when the people hear about the meditation they they don't they don't want to accept the meditation experience is up and down what people want is peaceful forever calm forever blissful joyful forever and that doesn't happen so some people think of meditation is think of nothing some people they think meditation is think of nothing empty mind empty brain and some people think meditation meaning concentration watch breath oh there's a noise down there my neighbors are making noise please don't make noise i'm meditating <laughs> again there's a bird you know singing outside The bird is getting louder and louder. Today, what happened? No, no, no. Breath. Then you get itchy, you know. If a bird become quiet, the itchy will come back. What happened? A lot of itchy today. Breathing. Something wrong with my cushion. You know, I prepared the best cushion before. What happened today? And then fall asleep. <laughs> so too tight, right? So normally, what I said, a lot of people in in the 
Asia when we meditate too tight. And a lot of people meditate in the West. Peace. Peace. Relax. You know, so we try to relax. Then what happened? Tight. And the ear come up. And then all the muscles become more and more tight. Or some people, they say, openness. And some people think clarity, you know. So these are uh, too tight. So not accepting the way things are. So what is the way things are? Change. Meditation experience will change, go up and down. And the traditional example in the Tibet, what we call if you know the Eastern Tibet called Kham, if someone want to go from Kham, Eastern Tibet, to the center Tibet called Lhasa, then there's a lot of up and down because Tibet is the the land of the mountains. There's a lot of uh, mountains, so some people. Within, within one day, two days, you have to go up, then down, up again, another mountain, go down. So going up is getting close to Lhasa, and down also getting close to Lhasa. It's the journey, journey to the enlightenment. The meditation experience up and down, both is good. As I mentioned before, up is very good. You can, you can, from the up, you will feel the um, inspire, feel happy, feel kind of like hope. And the down experience, you will really learn how to let go. You will really learn how to free up grasping, attachment. And also, the one of the most important is self-antidote. Self-liberation meaning the down experience can become support for your meditation, can become support for awareness, can become support for love and compassion, can become support for the wisdom, can become support for refuge, can become support for Guru Yoga, can become support for emptiness meditation. So all this can become support for your path. The problem becomes solution. Obstacle becomes opportunity. So, what we call normally the essence of meditation. The essence of meditation is the awareness. So what is awareness? The knowing. The awareness, mindfulness, same meaning. And that awareness being with whatever the reality, that awareness being with whatever things comes in life. So, the accepting the way things are not try to get rid of anything, not try to create anything, but being with that. Just be is the awareness. Just being is the mindfulness. So that is the essence, essence of meditation. So awareness meaning knowing. Knows what you are thinking, knows what you are doing, and you rec recognize that awareness, then awareness becomes meditation. Although we all have knowing, of course. 
But if you are not recognized, our awareness, then it's not become the meditation. When we recognize our own awareness, when we recognize the quality of our mind, and then that knowing be with whatever comes in our mind. The breath, the body, the form, the sound, the smell, chest, emotion, the up, the down, whatever can be with that. So that is the meditation. So being versus doing. We don't need to do particular anything. We just being the way things are. So that is the real meaning of or the real practice of learning or learning how to accept. Learning how to accept the way things are. So maybe we will do one simple meditation practice here together. And actually the purpose one of the main purpose of the meditation is how to accept the way things are. <clears throat> so, normally what we call view, meditation, and application. There are three things. The view meaning at the beginning, like intellectual understanding at the beginning, then go beyond intellectual. So right now I taught you more than one hour about what is the meaning of um, letting go, isn't it? And so I think all of you understand that. That's a view, intellectual understanding. So it might help you to change your perspective about the relationship. Right? It might help you the perspective about how to see your life. This view. Life is up and down. Life is like wave of the ocean. Up is good. Down is also good. If we not give up. Continue to grow. Continue to learn. But accept. It's up and down. Sometimes you cannot do anything. Sometimes you cannot cross that way. <laughs> It's impossible, huge wall there. But there's another way also, different, different, different ways there. So to accept that, life is like a wave of the ocean. It's, it helps us to see life is colorful. So then in the end, there's no such thing as the real obstacle. So self antidote self-transformation yeah so that's the view i think you all understood that but now how to bring that view into practice this is really important because you can say a lot of, about the um letting go the art of letting go it helps you change little view, but then when a really strong thing comes in your life, you know, you may still look for Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect. And um, <clears throat> you may still have a lot of lists for your meditation practice. <laughs> Although, you know, the meditation experience is up and down, right? Yes, 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 meditation experience up and down. And then one day you might have wonderful meditation experience. You might think, oh, this is, a, this is a different than yesterday. I think I never had that before. I think this will be forever. Mm. So you, you grasp again. <laughs> the, the, the impermanent, uh, cannot accept impermanent, and then grasping of permanent come back. Or your meditation is not good. You have the dull agitation experience. You might think, how I can get rid of this? This is no good. I cannot meditate. You know? So therefore, how to bring this into the experience? 
So how to bring this into experience? The first important is the, the essence of meditation is what we call awareness. And the awareness meaning knowing, right? I mentioned you before. And normally what we call awareness is like sky. Then up and down experience, the thought, emotion, memory, perception, whatever, all these are like cloud in the sky. They are go up and down, up and down, up and down. But awareness not become up and down. Awareness with us all the time. Although awareness is not the permanent, but it's not impermanent. So we will discuss this in the future. And if you learn special in the Mahamudra, you will know. So this is, uh, uh, normally we don't teach about this in the public, but right now important is we know awareness is essence of meditation. And what is awareness? Knowing. So then within the awareness, thought, emotion comes. And these are like cloud. So, When there's a cloud, there is sky. When the cloud dissolves, there's also sky. When the storm comes, still there is sky. A storm cannot change sky. Storm cannot block the sky. Within the storm, there's sky. Above the storm, there's sky. In above, within outside, up, down, everywhere is storm is in the sky. So, although we have up and down thought, emotion, a lot of all this, it's just cloud. But at the beginning, it is very difficult to accept that. So, we need to bring this into experience. So, how to bring this into experience? We have to accept the way things are. So right now, what we want to do is we want to do sound meditation. So I know some of you have sound and some of you don't hear anything. Some of you, sound comes and goes and uh, doesn't matter. So whatever there, the sound available there, listen and they will change. And some of them have pleasant sound. Be with that. And some sound is unpleasant sound. Be with that. And there's a gap. You cannot find sound. Be with no sound. Sometimes what we call sound of silence in between the sound. So that means you are accepting the way things are. And that being, that awareness, is the meditation. So when we do that, slowly, slowly, we are accepting the way things are. And then in between, you might have a lot of thought comes, to-do lists. Maybe pizza will appear. Organic vegetable salad will appear. Let them come. As long as if you not forget the sound. As long as if you still remember the sound. One vegetable salad, two vegetable salad, three vegetable salad comes. Let them come. So again, you are accepting. Again, you are letting go. But don't give up. Try to stay with the sound. Try to stay with the sound. Of course, you cannot stay with the sound too long. Few seconds, forget. It's okay. What we call repeat again. Repeat again. Short time. At the beginning is short time, but many times, many times, 
then the duration become longer, longer, longer. Okay. So we will try this together. Now, please, everybody, keep your spine loosely straight. Uh, spine loosely straight. And then you can cross your leg or you can use chair. If you are using chair, both feet touch to the ground. And you can put your hand on your knees, cover your knees, or both hands together, join, put on your lap. Okay. And keep your spine loosely straight. And first, please close your eyes. And now, feel your body. And relax muscles in your body. Relax muscles in your head, face, neck. Again, if you cannot relax, okay, allowed. Allow that you cannot relax. When you're allowed, that is the letting go. And that is the awareness. So that is meditation also. Relax muscles around your shoulders, back, upper back to lower back. Relax meaning everything's okay. Tight okay. Not tight is okay. Relax chest. Stomach. Arms. and legs. Now you don't need to do anything, just be whatever there in your body. You don't need to control anything. You don't need to imitate anybody. Be yourself. And be free. You are free. So be free. Now, please listen to sound. Whatever sound available there, you can listen. And the sound is changing from one sound to the another sound. Even one sound that sound has beginning and the end. And from beginning to end, always changing. Never stays one place. It's changing to the end. Any sound is okay. Sound of fan, air condition, coughing. 
sound from the neighbors, birds outside, animals, or maybe there's no sound. Sound of silence, or you might have inner sound in your ear. Some some people have, might have. That's also okay. So you don't need to do. You just let happen. Let sound come. Let sound go. And when you try to listen to the sound, they might have a lot of thoughts. Emotions may come. Let them come. Vegetable salad comes. Let vegetable salad come. You don't have to block. Two vegetable salad comes, three vegetable salad comes. It's okay as long as you still remember the sound. As long as still as long as you are still hear the sound, you're okay. You're still in the meditation. Now, please open your eyes and continue listening to sound. And maybe you might see something. It's okay. As long as if you still hear the sound, whatever image comes, no problem. Or when you hear the sound, you cannot have another thought and emotion. Also okay. For many people, cannot have two at the same time. That's great. Okay, how was it? So that is the, not only with the sound meditation, all the meditation practice. So we are not trying to block thought and emotion. No need to make any particular state of mind. Just be with the what things are, accept the, the way it is. So that is the learning how to let go from the experience. 
So if you try to control too much, try to aversion or craving, then the relationship between you and your meditation may not become nice. <laughs> so then in the end, you cannot continue to meditate. So maybe we will do one simple uh, exercise. So normally I love to do this exercise, you know. So today, mm, this one better. How many of you, oh, maybe not everybody sees Tesla, right? Okay, back to normal one. So pizza. So everybody knows pizza. So I will teach the pizza meditation today. <laughs> so the pizza meditation has one rule. So we will do one minute of meditation. For one minute, we are not allowed to think of pizza, okay? So um, you can think of anything else. Organic vegetable, oh, very good. If you can think organic vegetable. Or to-do list, you can think about your past history, future plan. Or bala 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 yada yada yada, the monkey mind, but no pizza. So except pizza, you can think of anything else. So we will do this exercise together. Please keep your spine loosely straight. And now please close your eyes and feel your body and relax muscles in your body. Relax meaning be as it is. Now I will say one, two, three. When you hear three, no pizza, okay? Cannot think of pizza. Prepare one, two, three, no pizza. Okay, how was it? So meditation went well, pizza meditation, or not so well? <laughs> I think many of you think pizza, right? <laughs> when you say, don't think of pizza, then what, we, what will happen, we will think of pizza. And we think of pizza more and more. So that's the what we do normally. We sometimes grasping, sometimes aversion. So, so too tight comes between aversion and craving or grasping. Then become mind too tight. And the craving meaning 
For example, if you go to exam, you know, and you prepare everything, study a lot and all the questions. Then, as soon as if you enter the exam hall, half of your mind become empty. So then you saw the, the questions. Oh, yeah, I just remembered this answer before I come here. What was the answer? Mind become empty. <laughs> and then you are thinking, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then time's up. Then you come out of exam hall. The, m the moment you come out of exam hall, oh, I remember, but too late. <laughs> So what we call, normally our mind does the opposite. When we say yes, mind say no. When we say no, mind say yes. So for the meditation, we don't really need to say yes. We don't need to really say no. No is okay. Yes is okay. Both is okay. Sound is okay. No sound is okay. Sound comes okay. Sound go okay. We just be with it. So being is the awareness. So then what happened? Slowly, slowly we will learn how to be, how to accept the way things are. You don't need to ignore the reality. You don't need to control the reality. You don't need to suppress the reality. You just follow the flow of reality. So, and that is not with only with the meditation. Slowly, slowly, you can do that with the, the human relationship. You can do with that your work. And you can do that with your Tesla. So, there will be no perfect Tesla, of course. Right? Lot of good things there in the Tesla, but lot of something might not be as you expected, but that's okay. But then need to see what is the important, the purpose. What is the direction that you want to go? So you have to have the direction, like refuge, sense of the goal. And you need to have the purpose, love and compassion and bodhicitta, sense of meaning, try to find. So then I say, then accept the way things are, but don't give up. What, when I say don't give up, that means like if you meet the wall in front of you, I'm not saying you have to go through that way. Don't give up. I have to go through this wall and hit to the wall. What happened? You cannot break the wall. <laughs> you will have problem here. So sometime in our life, of course, relationship not always works. Whatever job, of, of course whatever the way of the relationship with the friends, family. Of course, you need to try your best to accept the impermanent, but sometimes it doesn't work. Then also need to say, need to learn how to let go, meaning change, look at another door, move on. You have to learn how to say no also. So this is really important to find the balance, to find the, um, the balance between too tight and too loose. So when here in the meditation, we are come back to the awareness, so you're not too loose. Listen to sound, listen to sound, listen to sound, not to lose. Be with awareness. But at the same time, 
you are not worried about the good sound, bad sound. You are not controlling the sound. Let sound come, let sound go. Sound is changing, let it be with the changing. So that way you're accepting, you're accepting the way things are. So same thing with the real life, your job. So I hope um, from this uh, talk uh, will bring you some new perspective of your life and relationship with your friends, family, and your most important is your meditation practice, relationship between you and your meditation practice. And apply this in everyday life, okay? You can apply this with your practice, your meditation. You can practice this in everyday life. So thank you very much for all of you, and I will stop for my teaching now. And there are some questions, right, I think? So maybe we will open for Q&A for a while. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so thank you very much. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Yes, Kelly. And a few uh, couple of questions. Yes. And the first one is, uh, dear Renzi Chair, could you please give us some advice on what we can do if we have difficulties in recognizing our true nature? So, First important is the view. The view begin by intellectual understanding of the nature of mind, meaning what is nature of mind, how to practice. So that is important. Then after that, just be. As long as if you are not lost, you are okay. So nature of mind is okay, not nature of mind is okay. Thought is okay, no thought is okay. So in the Mahamuddha, everything can be support for meditation. Of course, at the beginning, we learn meditation with the breath or visual object, slowly, slowly, sound, smell, taste, sensation. In the end, thought and emotion. So the key point is the awareness, as long as if you're not lost. So then, the knowing the what the natural mind is and for the meditation level just be eventually you will recognize natural mind and even though right now you don't feel like that is natural mind practice but there is some percentage of the recognition of natural mind there even you practice yamada Yeah, so relationship, I think really important at the beginning, there's no perfect. You cannot expect the other is always perfect. But of course, the maybe there's a consider more positive things within you and whatever relationship between 60 or 70 percent above uh, more than about 50 something you feel like good, uh, some see positive things, that's good, but it may change after that. But important is relationship is up and down and accept that. And the most important is to learn each other and do something new, explore something new. Uh, if the human relationship then discovers try to discover together something new, to learn something new, um, to do something new. I think that really helps. Okay. And then the next que question. Uh, dear Rinpoche, can you give some advice on how one might accept one's own impermanence and death? I contemplate this, especially when I've been ill from time to time, and consider this will happen to me as it has happened to a few of my loved ones, and it will happen to all. Uh, I've been
been ill and I thought I might have died, but even so, I can see quite clearly a part of my mind that can't really accept this and jumps into fear. Is there anything specifically I can do to allow my mind to this fear? Uh, try to practice death and dying meditation. So there's uh, Bardo teachings nowadays available. And actually, for, for ultimately, nobody will die. The, our Buddha nature cannot be die because it is unborn. In order to die, you have to be born first. You have to begin. If there's a rising, then there's a ceasing. So our two nature, never being born, is unborn. It's emptiness. So cannot die. So therefore, in the Bardo teachings, there's a lot of practice how to connect with the, our Buddha nature, especially the end of the dissolution, what we call. So when we're going to die, at the beginning we feel like falling, melting, burning, uh, disappear. So all these um, five element dissolution in our body, the ener energetic level, energy level. So then in the end become like dark, look like dark, because you, can, you, because you cannot see, you cannot hear, maybe your breath is also gone. But then after that, we will experience the great lumin luminosity. Your mind is so peaceful. There's no concept, no subject and object, but the totally open. Joy, you can experience it, but beyond word, no front, no back, no up, no down. Completely free with the joy. So if we know we will experience this, the moment of the dying, and especially if you have some meditation experience now when you're alive. So you can do that. So many of the Tibetan masters, when they die, Tibetan meditators, when they die, dying meditation, you know. The body remains for meditation posture. Some of them uh, with the lying, uh, lying, sleeping Buddha posture for three days, four days, five days. My father in that meditation stayed about three days. My grandfather, my grandfather died a few years back. He, he was in that state for uh, three and a half days. And uh, and recent, I mean, a few years back in Shirabling, there's one um, chef, cook. He came from Tibet and he died. He was in that meditation for a few days. And one old doctor, the Tibetan doctor who died a few weeks in that meditation state. So uh, try to learn about those things. Okay, thank you. And then the next question, uh, <coughs> Rinpoche, how to deal with anxiety because of chronic illness? Tiredness, right? Anxiety. Anxiety. <coughs> Excuse me. So, if you are new to meditation, first do the breathing meditation or the sound meditation or another meditation technique, what we call mental recitation. Recite maybe Om Mani Padme Hum or any words in your mind, uh, any phrase. Recite that with silently. Recite in your mind with silence. So these three, one of these three meditation first. Then when you get some experience with that, then eventually you can watch the anxiety feeling. And there's a lot of sensation in the body. There's an image, there's a voice, there's a belief. So anxiety first is single, singularity permanent. But when you look at the anxiety, it becomes pieces, four pieces. Sensation, image, voice, belief. So anxiety becomes shaving form. So 
when you have shaving foam here, looks like a piece of rock inside full of bubble. So then anxiety becomes support for meditation. Problem becomes solution. But it's not so easy at the beginning, of course. So therefore, sometimes what we call, when you look at the anxiety, feeling so overwhelmed, sometimes it's be become worse. Then back to sound, change. Or do the mental restriction. Or do some physical exercise for a while. Physical exercise really good for, uh, good for anxiety. Uh, could be jogging, could be swimming, or any kind of physical exercise will be good. Okay, thank you. There is another question about anxiety, so maybe the answer is the same. Uh, yeah. How to deal with anxiety and panic because of a major financial loss? Yeah. So, um, the, the, I mean, the answer is the same. From the view level, <coughs> Don't give up. Try to still try to find solution. Try to look for um, how to recover. Try to find it, and there will not there will be no no kind of end of the end of the life. Of course, you will have um, if you make effort. There is something. There will have a result, but. It may not have the same as what you expected. It might be changed, might be different. And then how to deal with the, the experience itself and the anxiety that what I mentioned before, do that. Okay, uh, then the next question, to help bring the view of the art of letting go into practice, is it helpful to undertake Vajrasattva practice? You can do this practice with the Bajasattva also. So you can imagine Bajasattva above your head, but not too tight. Don't worry about the image, form, color, shape. These are not so important. The important is feel the presence of Bajasattva. And the Bajasattva is everywhere. What we call Bajasattva is everywhere and nowhere. So Bajasattva is everywhere, meaning the wisdom of Bajasattva is everywhere. Love and compassion is everywhere. So it's everywhere. The moment if you feel Bajrasado is there above you, it's there. So, but of course, shape, color of Bajrasado sometimes will be clearer, sometimes not clear. And that Bajrasado is also like dream, like reflection in the mirror. When you look at the yourself in the mirror, beyond time, beyond matter, yet appear. So that is what we call empty form. So when we do that, then there is a, you can find balance. Next question is, uh, could you please give some advice on what to do if someone is practicing refuge and frustration and they have knee or lower back pain? How can they continue to do the practice? I mean, the, normally, Guru uh, Bajadara Dajudur uh, teaches if you have physical really problem and you cannot do that, there's um, uh, but still you can pray the refuge prayer, you can take refuge from, the, from your heart, from your mind. But if physically cannot do that, especially you need to consult the doctor and, and physically cannot do that, it doesn't mean you are not taking refuge, still you are taking refuge. Okay, the next question is, uh, is it useful to use our physical body as a support for recognizing attachments and aversions? Is there any meditation that can help us to do that? Ah, you can jump three times and you will recognize the letting go. I'm just kidding. So physical body, normally mind and body always together. So 
body is like cup, mind is like water in the cup. So right now when we meditate, we have the meditation posture and we relax our body, but not like, like that kind of relax. You keep your spine loosely straight. There's strength inside, strength. But at the same time, relax the muscle. So you will find the balance. So that helps, of course, to find the balance also. Okay, thank you. Then there is another question about uh, if I have a problem, uh, I can accept it, but I still try to find the solution, isn't it? Uh, is it? Is it okay not to give up on it? And uh, if there is no solution, is it okay to just accept it? Yeah, of course. So what we could try our best, don't give up. So use your wisdom, effort, love and compassion, skills that whatever you have, try your best. But what we call don't tight your mind on the result. Sometimes there is a result, sometimes result is not the what you expected, they may have another result. And sometimes you cannot find result. So you cannot go through the wall like that way, right? Sometimes you have to accept it. So, but that's not the end of life. They have another opportunity. They might have some other. So, oh, that obstacle really changed my life. Otherwise, I cannot be here, you know, something like that. Also, like when I was young, I was in Sherabling, Palpung, Palpung Sherabling. Monastery. I was in uh, young, thirteen years old, and I was in the three-year retreat. And first year of my three-year retreat, I have actually I have panic before that. And that time, my panic become stronger. But then I learned meditation with my panic. So panic become my friend. Panic become my teacher. So actually, today I'm here. One part of that is because of my panic. Teach me a lot, transform my life. And why I'm teaching this meditation might be the, one of the thing is the wisdom from the panic. So now last question. Okay, uh, dear Rinpoche, is it better to have fewer relationships so life is less complicated? Pure relationship? Meaning? Pure relationship. Uh, less. <laughs> I mean, the, there's no one answer. It's up to you. Depend on your personality, depend on your lifestyle. Some people, they can be solid person in the mountain, but still having relationship. Relationship with the, himself, herself, and the community, even they're not together. Relationship with the path, relationship with the friends, relationship with the relatives from far away. Never feel alone, also possible. But sometimes you are in the middle of the people, middle of crowd, can feel lonely also. So, yeah, there's no really one answer. So thank you. Thank you very much for all of you. And now... We will do the dedication. Sanam de tham che se ubani tham ne ne be danam pham che yega nan che palavan chu bai se ben sole towa dolwa rai sho. Kina dewa so so ngo pende nam ka chaba. Dona dunga la dagi korwa dunga la ji jam so tomba rai sho. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.